Hello YouTube, Chester Boy, and welcome to the 12th and final day of my 12 Days of Geatsman special. And today, and what better way to end off the special with the Fever Slot Raise Buckle. So yes, let's end, let's end up with something a little, you know, a little special. So this right here is a race buckle that's, used, that's a power-up item that can allow any of the desired driver, any of the desired um, Grand Prix riders to access their first power-up form. So, so as I've been by the name Fever Slot, this is a slot machine, as you can tell. Now you can tell we got we got some nice gold chrome on on this buckle again very nice which of course a lot of people did of course a lot of people did say this kind of gives like hyper muteki gash out vibes from this which yes I can I can totally agree with that um so yeah so of course we got some nice sparkles on, for the uh, buckle this bit right here and of course um, here's the back and there's the QR code for the um, the Gaum Rising game slash the race buckle library if you scan it with your phone and much like and much like with the beat race buckle there's a pull, there's a tab you have to pull out and you want to, if you want to activate the sounds so this is the second race buckle to have electronics so no lights so yeah and, the, <clears throat> and this one is a reset button if you want to reset the sounds so yeah okay now on its own, you can do this. If you pull the if you pull the lever down a little bit, well forward I should say, you get the name of the race buckle. Now on the side here, there's a knob. There's like a little well I should say dial. I should say that. yeah dial works. Um, and do that, it reveals stickers of the main five um, race buckles, excluding the boost ones. So we got Magnum, Zombie, Ninja, Monster, and Beat. And this one is the, I like to call the jackpot. Um, this is what I like to call the jackpot sticker. So, so yeah, that's all I could do on its own. So let's bring in the desired driver. All right, we're going to start with is Comrade Geet's Fever Boost form. And now since, again, since, now again, since, again none, there is no boost sticker on here. So, so you know that, but... So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that this this thing lands on these three question marks because that's what we need just to be you know show accurate. So, so we're gonna go ahead and plug in the boost, the boost buckle first, and then the fever slot. Then from here, activate the boost buckle first. And yes, you can in fact cheat this thing. So after you pull the um, like like for example, like I say, I wanted to land it on these three question marks, but no, it landed on Ninja. So I decided, so I did, I twisted the dial, and it lands on this to land on. So yes, either twisting the dial or pulling the lever activates the Gold Fever victory. Now, with the boost buckle equipped, you can actually do the boost. You can do the uh, the fever slot grand victory, or fever boost grand victory. Okay, so you got the hyper boost grand victory. So there you go. All right, now I'm gonna now I'm gonna do a reset this because since we have the Geats core ID on, we're gonna bring in the Magnum race buckle. So I'm gonna do all the fever forms. Um, since I don't have the Tycoon core ID um in my possession because that's gonna be a campaign item, as everyone knows that. Um, and basically how this works is that th basically there's a tab here, and when you slide it, when you slide this in, this uh, this actually pushes it in. So yeah, that's how it works. So, so now we're gonna do is fever magnum form. So basically, we're gonna plug in the magnum buckle in first, and this. So 
So we've got Kenrick Gates Fever Magnum, which basically this gives him an extra Magnum Shooter 40 X, so he can go John Woo. So, yeah. And of course, we'll do the uh, green. All right, so you can do the Hyper Magnum Victory. And of course, you can do the same thing with. Um, Now, like I said, if you if you you want to pull this lever down all the way forward, you can just do this, and you get the um, finisher from there. So we're going to unplug these two. Next, we're going to bring in. Um, now, even though I don't have the Tycoon Core ID in my possession, again, like I said before, we're going to go ahead and do Fever Ninja. So pretend this is the um, the core the core ID of Tycoon. So pretend. Oh, oh. Okay, that doesn't want to work I want to. All right, let's do it again. Come So we created, again, pretend this is Tycoon. So current Tycoon Fever Ninja. So of course we'll do the Hyper Ninja Victory. So there you go. Now we're gonna go, we do Counter Punk Jack. All right, so I got the Punk um, punk Jack's core ID in, and we're gonna do Fever Monster Form. So, here we go. Oh, yeah, so we've got Comrade Punk Jack Fever Monster Form. Now, before we get any further, I forgot to show the box on this. Um, here's what the box looks like. Um, now, one thing is we have these, all these um, riders that, that each, when every um, rider uses the Fever Slot Race Buckle, it gives them like a unique accessory. So in this case, if Comrade Geats uses the Fever Slot Race Buckle, this gives him an extra scarf, as you can see right there. For Buffa, it gives him an extra side skirt piece, which is all gold, of course. Tycoon, it gives him an extra leg sash on his, um, I think his left leg, like, you know, a sash or something like that. Nago, this gives her ex two bangles on her wrist instead of one. And Punk Jack, like, like in this case, it gives him a gold, a gold cape. So, there you go. So it's, it's pretty nice, a little bit of uniqueness. So, yeah. All right, I'm going to do the Hyper Monster Victory. If you want to. And as you can tell, obviously you can tell all the sounds are coming from the um the gold the, the fever slot race buckle, not the driver. So there you go. Just want to point that out. Alright, next what we'll do is Comer Buffa's Fever Zombie. Fever Zombie form. So there you go, that's Kermit Buffa Fever Zombie form. 
Now we do the Hyper Zombie Victory. That's it for that. And last but least, we'll do Kamara Nago Fever Beat Form. Now again, with the beat race buckle, since it's electronic, you don't have to press the piano keys if you want to, but if you want to, I think, I'm trying to think the most fitting one. Yeah, this might work. All right, so we transfer to Kamara Nago Fever Beat form. All right, so that's it for that. And to finish off the review, we're going to, we're going to take a look at the compatibility with the Magnum Shooter. So, make sure this is turned on. Alright, put it into its handgun mode, so here we go. You can see the um, the manager reads the fever slot buckle as great. So I bet you for the power up, for the power up raise buckles, it's going to say great if you put this in the um, magnet shooter. So and as you may notice, it doesn't press the tab in right there where my finger's pointing at. Again, that is for the desired driver. So yeah, now I'll try it in its rifle mode. So just pull now. Now if you push this, now if you pull this forward again, okay, I didn't mean to do that. Um, okay. If you pull this forward all the way, it'll make it say fever slot, but, but if you pull it slightly, you get that sound from the shoot from the magnum, so. So yeah, that is that. Um, yeah, it does look ridiculous though. <laughs> But obviously, it fits if you put in Magnum. I mean, just make it fitting if you want to, but yeah. But again, this doesn't change anything, so it doesn't. It's just, again, cosmetic. So, yeah. So overall, the feet, the Deluxe Fever Slot Race Buckle is highly recommended if you're a fan of, you know, slot machines. Of course, you know, the, the forms, especially for all the Desire Driver, the Desire um, Riders, what do like to call them? Or the Desire Grand Prix Riders, I should say. And it's pretty cool that when any when any rider uses the um, the fever slot race buckle, it gives them like a unique a unique accessory. Like, like for example, Kamara Geats gets a scarf, a gold scarf, which is actually very nice, a nice little di nice little thing right there. And uh, yeah, again, it did, it did it did give me a lot of hyper Mateki vibes. You know, you know the hyper techy Gasha, which is was um, Kamara X8's final form. But of course, this is not. This is not a final form item. This is a first power up item. Okay, so yeah, and it's pretty cool that Bandai actually gives you the gives you you know a nice little option to cheat um to cheat this. So which I did shown earlier in the video. So again, very nice little option they gave they gave you. So you yeah, know which is very nice. So yeah. So yeah. That's all I gotta say about the Fever Slot Race Buckle. This like just just to remind you, it's just as pricey as the beat the beat race buckle because they both these both have electronics in them. Just keep that in mind. So yeah. And no, this one does not come with a Rider Core ID. No, just the buckle. That's it. Alright, nothing else. So yeah. And with that, this concludes my 12 Days of Gizmas special. Thank you all for supporting. Thank you all for the support, and of course, if you enjoy my if you enjoy my videos. Again, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe with this with your friends. Of course, you know, subscribe to my channel. 
And of course, like my Twitter and Facebook page, which again, the links are down below in the description. And, and yeah, so that's it. That's all the toys. Well, some of them, well, a couple of them that were released before December. So, yeah. So, with that being said, have a Merry Christmas, happy ho and happy holidays in general. Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, all that fun stuff like that. And I'm going to see you in 2023. I'm going to, have to take a look at the Deluxe Command Twin Race Buckle and, Raising, and Raging Sword Set. So, thank you all for supporting me throughout this whole special. So, I will see you next year. Have a good one.